Hello, my name is Kelmer Martins da Cunha. I'm an undergraduate student at Universidade Federal de Santa Catarina. I'm a member of Micolab, Laboratory of Mycology from Universidade Federal de Santa Catarina. And I'm also a member of the MindFunga Initiative, uh, which stands for Monitoring and Inventoring the Neotropical Diversity of Funga. Well, as you, can, as you can see in this video, I will present some uh, preliminary results from my um, research project, as in this case, it's titled Preliminary Evidence of a species complex within Rigidoporus umarius. Well, um, Rigidoporus umarius is a polypore species with a global distribution. It causes white hot in several tree species, um, but it is a facultative parasite, so it can be found on dead trees and logs um, as well, acting as a decomposer. Um, talking about uh, general morphology traits, this species is characterized by a large basidiomata, as you can see in the right picture. Actually, this is the biggest um, Rigidoporus umarius ever found. Also, uh, a pale buff to cream, in some cases pinkish buff to light buff uh, upper surface. Uh, actually, in some cases uh, th that you cannot see cl clearly in this picture, there is a greenish color in the upper surface as well. And uh, globose to subglobose um, basidial spores. S uh, it has large basidial spores that um, separate it from other Rigidoporus species. And uh, these descriptions of Rigidoporus umarius can be found in the uh, classic literature, if um, we want to call it so. Uh, so, as a driver for this um, research project, uh, some specimens of Rigidoporus umarius were found in the Parque Nacional de São Joaquim, which is located in Santa Catarina, Brazil. It's a, a uh, protected federal site. And uh, these specimens are a new occurrence to the, to the area. And also, which I think is the most um, interesting part, they were um, found in a new host for Rigidoporus umarius, that in this case is um, Ocotia puxella. Uh, so, based on these specimens that we found, the objective of this work is to um, verify the existence of a species complex uh, th that lies inside um, Rigidoporus umarius. Uh, so far, as preliminary results, uh, the specimens found in the in Parque Nacional de São Joaquim and together with other specimens uh, described in the literature present some morphological disparities such as basidioma color and basidiospores uh, size. There is also a, a strong divergence in host occurrences between specimens from different localities. So, uh, the basidio spores from the Parque Nacional de São Joaquim specimens are similar from uh, basidio spores from East African specimens, described by Rivardin and Johansen in 1980. And they, they are smaller than basidio spores from uh, North American specimens, described by Gilbertson and Rivardin in 1987. As I've said, there is a disparity in a broad range of hosts with about um, 12 recorded uh, hosts worldwide. So, uh, in Brazil, there are three known hosts, uh, Araucaria angustifolia, which is a emblematic tree, tree sorry, for uh, salt in Brazil, which is also is, uh, endangered. 
and ficus organensis that is a uh, popular here in southern brazil and uh, and uh our recently our finding that is uh ocotia puxella so um as a site for the the next steps uh, we have some evidences of a species complex as these morphological disparities uh, the occurrence in a significant range of hosts combined with this um, cosmopolitan distribution uh, actually suggests that uh, Hegiopolis marius could hold a species complex and to test this hypothesis and um, corroborate our ideas a morphological analysis will be conducted and phylogenetic analysis will be conducted as well um, together with ecological and geographical comparisons to actually see or test if Hegidopodus humarius um, holds a, a cryptic uh, diversity so I would like to thank for all the support and funding from these organizations and institutes I would like to thank for the uh, collaborations and help that I received from the Mindfunga and Micolab team, in special the other two authors of this uh, resume, Thiago Cosma and Elisandro Ricardo. And I would like to thank you as well for your attention.